The Boeing 747, often referred to as the Queen of the Skies, has been an iconic aircraft since its first flight in 1969. With its distinctive humpbacked fuselage, double deck configuration, and massive size, it revolutionized air travel, making long haul flights more accessible to the public. But as we step into 2025, the aviation industry has undergone significant changes, leading many to wonder, what is the current status of the Boeing 747? In this article, we'll explore the history of the 747, its present role in the aviation industry, and what the future holds for this legendary aircraft. A Brief History of the Boeing 747 The Birth of an Icon The Boeing 747 was introduced in 1970 with Pan Am as its launch customer. Designed to carry more passengers than any other aircraft at the time, it quickly became the backbone of international travel. The aircraft was initially developed in response to rising passenger demand and the need for a larger, more efficient aircraft to accommodate the growing global travel market. Evolution through the decades Over the years, Boeing introduced multiple variants of the 747 each improving upon its predecessor. 747-100, at the original version with a capacity of around 366 passengers. 747-200, a upgraded engines and increased range. 747-300, a extended upper deck for more passenger capacity. 747 400, 1989, a one of the most successful variants, featuring improved fuel efficiency, digital avionics, and a two pilot cockpit. 747 8, 2012, at the final variant with advanced aerodynamics, quieter engines, and increased efficiency. Boeing 747 in 2025, where does it stand? Passenger Airlines Retiring the 747 While the 747 once ruled the skies, the rise of more fuel-efficient twin-engine jets like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350 has significantly reduced demand for four-engine aircraft. Many airlines, including British Airways, Lufthansa, and Qantas, have either retired or drastically reduced their 747 fleets in favor of more economical alternatives. As of 2025, very few airlines still operate the Boeing 747 for passenger services. Lufthansa continues to fly a limited number of 747-8 aircraft, while a handful of other carriers, particularly in Asia and the Middle East, still use them for special routes. The 747's new life in cargo and charter services Although the 747 is fading from passenger service, it remains a crucial workhorse in the cargo industry. The Boeing 747-8 freighter, 747-8F, continues to be one of the most popular aircraft for shipping goods worldwide, thanks to its high payload capacity and unique nose-loading feature. Airlines such as UPS, FedEx, and Atlas Air have continued to use the 747 for global cargo transportation. Additionally, private and charter companies have repurposed older 747s into luxury VIP aircraft, used by governments and high net worth individuals. Government and Military Use the 747 remains an important asset for government and military applications. The U.S. Air Force still operates the modified 747-200B as Air Force One, serving as the official transport for the President of the United States. A replacement, based on the Boeing 747-8, is expected to enter service in the coming years. Other countries also use modified 747s for VIP transport, airborne command centers, and even space launch platforms. 
The future of the Boeing 747 beyond 2025. Will Boeing ever build another 747? In 2022, Boeing officially ended production of the 747, marking the end of an era. Given the shift towards fuel-efficient twin-engine aircraft, it is unlikely that Boeing will develop a successor to the 747 in its current form. However, advancements in aviation technology could lead to future aircraft that incorporate the 747's best features such as high capacity and cargo flexibility into more efficient designs. The Rise of Sustainable Aviation one of the biggest challenges for aviation in 2025 is reducing carbon emissions. The industry is moving towards more sustainable fuel options, electric aircraft, and advanced aerodynamics. While the 747-8 is more fuel efficient than previous versions, it still falls behind modern twin-engine aircraft in terms of emissions per passenger. This has led many airlines to phase out the 747 in favor of Boeing 787s, Airbus A350s, and upcoming hydrogen-powered aircraft. However, converted 747s could still play a role in sustainable aviation, possibly as airborne laboratories for green aviation technology research. Preserving the Legacy, Museums and Special Events Despite its retirement from production, the Boeing 747 will always have a place in aviation history. Several aviation museums around the world have preserved 747s, allowing future generations to experience this legendary aircraft up close. Additionally, some airlines and aviation enthusiasts continue to organize special farewell flights and nostalgic events celebrating the aircraft's contributions to global travel. Conclusion, the end of an era, but not the end of the legend. As we enter 2025, the Boeing 747's era as a dominant passenger aircraft has come to an end, but its impact on the aviation industry remains undeniable. From revolutionizing air travel in the 1970s to serving as a vital cargo and government aircraft today. The 747's legacy continues. While Boeing may never build another 747, its spirit lives on in modern aviation advancement. Whether in museums, cargo fleets, or private collections, the Queen of the Skies will always be remembered as one of the most influential aircraft in history. Would you still take a flight on a 747 if given the chance? Let us know in the comments.